scattering of light. This phenomena we are going to understand with the help of activity 11.3. In this activity, this is the setup in which we have taken a source of light which is white color. After that, we have taken two lenses. This both lenses are converging lens, that means they are convex lens. And we required here converging action, that means it needs to collect all the rays and at the end of the activity will be able to get one point size image or one point where we can see the color of the light. So these two lenses we have taken, this is lens 1 and this is lens 2, both are converging convex lens which will give us converging effect. After this lens we have placed here glass tank. We need to see the color of light which will pass from this tank. So it needs to be glass. That's why it should be transparent and we will be able to see the color of the light from outside. After that we have placed here cardboard. From that in middle the hole is there from where the rays will pass and again fall on the second converging lens. And after at the last we will be able to get the point size image of the light beam. And here we will be able to see the color of the light. So in this tank we have taken 2 liter of water and we have added 1 to 2 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid. Once everything is ready we are going to add sodium thiosulfate that is 200 gram of sodium thiosulfate. Once we will add this after 1 to 2 minutes our reaction will start and we will be able to see that here the white color beam will change and it will continuously changing its color. So let us understand how and why. So in this activity, these two things we are taking it into the tank and once this setup is ready, we are going to add sodium thiosulfate. So this reaction is going to happen over here that sodium thiosulfate that is Na2S2O3 will react with sulfuric acid and we will get sulfur sodium sulfate, sulfur dioxide and water. Here this is important for us which is sulfur. So sulfur will come out as a precipitate. Sulfur will be a precipitate and in within first two minutes the particles will be very very small. When it will started to forming the particles into the tank the particles will be very very minute. When the particles are very small at that time it will scatter a light and it will scatter a blue color light because particle size is very very small and because of that here we will be able to see blue color light. So first when particles are very small we will be able to see the blue color light. After that as this reaction will progress our particles will become bigger. It will become bulgy. So the particle size will be growing continuously. So as this particle will grow, here the color of the light will change because as the particle will grow and particle size will become bigger and bigger, they will scatter a light which has a longer wavelength. Blue color light or the violet light has a smaller wavelength. So after this, after some time, we will be able to see the orange color light after that, when particles will become even bigger, they will scatter a light which has a color that is crimson. And at the last, when particles are big enough and they will scatter the light which has a maximum wavelength and that is color red. So at last, we will be able to see the red color light over here. So this happens because of the particle size. As the continuously particles are growing bigger and bigger, here also color of the light will change. Smaller particles will scatter a light which has a short wavelength. So that is blue. And as the particles will grow in size, it will scatter a longer wavelength light. And that's why we will be able to see this change in color that it will go from orange to crimson and crimson to red. So hope this video has cleared your doubt. In coming segment, we are going to discuss many more important concepts. So don't forget to subscribe, learn yourself. I'll see you in next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing.